Hey guys, Dusty here. In this video, I'll be guiding you through every single story quest for Spellbreaks Chapter 3, The Wardens. So if you don't want the story to be spoiled for you in any way, please click away now. Uh, there will be timestamps in the description for each quest, so you can skip ahead to whichever section you need at any given time. Um, please let me know in the comments which quests you found the most difficult or needed help with. I know I had a couple myself. Um, and don't forget to like the video if you found it helpful, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. For the first quest, all we have to do is investigate three automaton strongholds. It's a really simple quest that you can probably achieve passively just by roaming around the Hololands. These strongholds are the locations where the automatons spawn, and they can be found all throughout the map. These are the three that I chose to go to, but there are several others that you could go to to achieve this quest as well. Quest number two takes place in the Bainhelm Library. You can see this marked on the map on the left of your screen right now. Here, you'll just simply open three boxes and collect the items inside. This is it. The third quest is located just south of Dustpool in a hole in the ground. This is the Automaton Workshop. Uh, now, keep in mind the wardens will spawn here, so you will have to be careful and be ready to fight. under our noses this whole time. This next quest requires you to place three arcane barometers near the Aegis Towers. Uh, if you're not sure where these are, just look at the map on the left of your screen here that outlines all five of them. I'll show you where to find all of the gear for this quest for each of the Aegis Towers, but you do only need to do three out of the five. You don't have to go to all five like I do. Head inwards. The spell storm is moving. Well, that should do the trick. Quest number five is very similar to the first quest, where you have to visit uh, several automaton strongholds. Uh, the only difference is this quest, you have to loot the boxes that are in the strongholds. So here you'll see me visit a few different strongholds if you're wondering where some of the other ones were. The Spellstorm slaying quest is fairly simple, all you need to do is take a Spellstorm rift and then once you land kill three wardens. You can take any Spellstorm rift and kill any wardens so go ahead and visit one of the strongholds that we've already been to to complete this quest. That's it, the Spellstorm is empowering them. The seventh quest is aptly named Getting Ahead. All you have to do here is defeat wardens until one of them drops a warden head. Once you've done this, you take it to the Dustpool Workshop from the third quest, and then you can re uh, repair it there. 
Keep in mind, wardens won't always drop their head, so you might have to defeat quite a number of them before you can get one. This rune chip doesn't look like anything I've researched. Quest 8 requires you to drop to Fort Halcyon and open the epic chests until you're ambushed by wardens. Sometimes this might not happen, so just try it again in your next game. Once the wardens appear, just defeat them and you'll complete the quest. The wardens were built to protect magical artifacts, so I suppose it makes sense they would continue to do so. This next quest is really easy, all you have to do is drop Lowland Outpost and have a look at this warden mural. Oh, this is not good. The tenth quest in our story is one that I had quite a little bit of difficulty with. Uh, the quest information tells you to go to the top of Castle Bogmore. From there you'll find a Valgard report page uh, which says that they plan to move into Mossburn Village. If you head there, you'll be able to complete the quest. Excellent work. The Fernfall Raid is a very simple quest where you head to Fernfall Garrison to collect a surveillance pod from a box uh, just in the northeast corner of the area. Uh, once you do that, Valguards will spawn and attack you, but they're very easy to take care of. Our next quest takes place on Sawtooth Mountain, where all you have to do is assemble three surveillance pods by taking the pods from the chest and adding them to the correct area. Safeguard Supplies requires you to collect three small safeguard potions and deliver them to Quiabank Sanctum. Uh, I recommend looting elsewhere first, finding some safeguard potions to deliver. You don't have to do them all at the same time, but it is easiest to do it that way. These safeguard potions should hold us over for quite some time. The 14th quest requires you to land atop an Aegis Tower platform. Uh, all you have to do is drop on it from the sky. This can either be from spawn or from a rift as you see here. You cannot just jump up onto it from the ground. That will not trigger the quest. Warden Raider is a simple quest where all you have to do is take out 10 Wardens. You can do this at any of the strongholds we've already been to or anywhere else where the Wardens spawn. To these wardens. Schematic Scandal brings us back to the Warden Mural in Lowland Outpost that we visited in a previous quest. Uh, you will spawn wardens when you activate it, but you do not have to fight them to finish the quest. Our 17th quest has us collecting manifestos from Edgewall, then Mossburn, and then finally in the Forgotten Cloister. Uh, these areas are very far apart, and this did result in me having to be in the storm to complete the final step. However, I was still able to successfully complete this quest in one game. We were built to defend, not destroy. The prisoner sends us on a rescue mission to Dustpool where we collect an automaton head. This head belongs to Brilly and we'll spend the next few quests collecting his body parts from across the map.
Once you've collected all of Brilli's body parts, just head to Dustpool Hold Workshop to complete the Automaton Assemble quest. For the Nexus Nodes quests, simply go to the north side of Zealot's Keep and interact with the node at the front Move entrance. Quickly. The storm's closing in. Access is complete. I can just access all the nodes before I can enter the communication access. Insider information is a quest that requires you to defend Abrilli as he accesses Nexus nodes in Hope's End, Westmar, and then Shadow Grace. You will have to fight off several wardens, so I do recommend looting up if you're not comfortable fighting them with common gear. All of these locations are found in the southwest corner of the map. Uh, you will have to defeat all of the wardens that attack really before he dies, otherwise you will fail the mission. Time to move. The spellstorm's closing. Ascension is a simple quest where all you have to do is investigate these strange devices in Lux Vault. Strange. I've never seen devices like this before. For this next quest, all you have to do is scout at Castle Bogmore, Fever Break, and then Fever Ridge Strongholds. They are quite a distance away from each other, and there will be wardens present, so do be ready to fight and defend yourself. Keep an eye on the storm. It's moving. Dangerous Conductors is a quest that requires you to destroy five Spellstorm Conductors in Shadow Grace and Ruby Grove. There are five in each of these locations, so you technically only have to go to one. Here I'm going to show you each and every single one of these Spellstorm Conductors in both locations, so you can choose which ones you want to destroy. Last, we may breathe. The 30th quest, the Warden Battalion, says to defeat Warden Battalion in Timberend. Uh, the actual location is in the south side of the Hemwood Ruins. You can activate it right here. All you have to do is taunt the Wardens and then defeat them all to finish Good the quest. Good work, Breaker. It seems the Wardens have grown desperate now that we've ruined their plans. The ritual simply requires you to open this box at Bainhelm Library and take the item inside. This next quest is in the same location as the last one at Bainhelm Library. All you have to do is destroy these three Nexus nodes to complete the quest. Brilli has informed us that the communication nexus has grown silent in this area. The 33rd and final quest requires you to destroy the three deep earth conveyors in Lux Vault. First you'll deactivate the barriers, then you can destroy the conveyors. You don't have to fight the wardens that spawn, but you can if you wish to. Here I chose to just run away. Did it. The wardens will no longer be able to bring reinforcements there you have into it. the That's hollow lands. Story quest we can spell breaks chapter three, the wardens. War. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up, and I hope to see you next time. Catch you later.